before showing you very interesting and significant and relevant table, let us see what Nasrallah said. Now, it is a Hebrew what he said, but let us see in English what he said. So he says the following. Nasrallah threatens. We can strike anywhere in Israel. Hezbollah, Secretary General, was interviewed by the Lebanese media to make the 13th anniversary of the opening of the Second Lebanon War and threaten that we can capable, we are capable of eating anywhere in Israel. We have created difference, and it is Israel that was prevented from attacking Lebanon since 2006. Right, you know, in fact, you can see in the news in Israel, in the radio, Khan, and the television, clearly written, Nasrallah Me'ayem, Nasrallah Tretan, and Israel Mudeket Ma'od, Israel is very worried. Not simple at all. It is so interesting that it is written that compared to hundreds of thousands of Hezbollah and missiles, the tunnels are Israel's last concern. But still, the missiles. So, no doubt, it's very, very serious situation. Now, about this situation, our rabbi tell us already in the Talmud, Rabbi Yezor said, if Israel repent, they will be redeemed. If not, they will not be redeemed. Rabbi Yeshua said to him, if they don't repent, will they not be redeemed? But the only one, God, bless be he, will set up a king over them, whose degrees shall be as cruel as Amman's. Unbelievable, exactly like it was in Persian before, now it is in Iran. Iran is Persian because it likes the, Amer the Nazis, so they changed their Persian to Iran, like earlier whereby Israel shall engage in repentance and he will just bring them back to the right path. So I described this was the sixth divorce and situation it was a big threat on Israel's existence. It did Shuva. Lots of Balet Shuva, a lot of people came back to Judaism. So this is the Gemara in Sanhedrin 97b, more than 2,000 years ago. So let us see now the table. Very, very significant table here. We see yourself. Why? The first thing you have here, the name Nasrallah, Red Nasrallah coming here, and with Iran, because now that all what he's doing is with Iran, they are pushing him. And the most interesting is the best meeting of Nasrallah with Amalek. He's an Amaleki. Amaleki, we say Amaleki. Amalek, at minimum, the Torah, Amaleki. He's a man because others want to destroy Israel, and it's a matter of others. Fighting Israel are really connected with the Amalekites. Amalekites is Amlak. The nation want to lick the Jewish blood like a dog. This year, quite a lot of them today. And no doubt that in Iran, Khni and Nasrallah. So Nasrallah, the Amalekite comes here, who threatened Israel with Mayim, with whom Tilim. Amazing. Come here, Tilim, with missiles. Missiles. Then you have here also what very important is the situation should bring Israel to Teshuvah, to repentance. So here you have minimal in the altar Torah, the word Ha Teshuvah, the repentance, and where it is mentioned in the story when Pharaoh chased Israel, right? They wanted them to come back to Egypt. And it's written here, Pharaoh Ikrib, Pharaoh came near, and our Rebbe Sela read the expression, Ikrib is that he brought them near to repentance. He brought their heart near to repentance. By Subna Israel, and then Israel lifted up their eyes and saw the Egyptians in front of them. Right? They were very worried. They did Shuvah, and did Shuvah had, and all the Egyptians were drawn in the sea. The same thing will be us. And the mysteries are in the past, when Jews will do Shuvah. Interesting. So, minimal Shuvah you have here, minimal Amalekite, and the best meeting, this itself makes this table very significant, more than statistics. This was really Dr. Rottenberg who became out of those Jews because he saw this phenomena by Professor Rips, shows him. Now, what you have here, and I think this is really something 
happening here is the appearance of the verse which tell us כי תבוא מלחמה בארצכם ונבור will break out in your place on the oppressor then you should blow the trumpet so you like the shofar and then you will remember in front of God it means you have to pray and our rabbi tell us that this is speaking about the war of Gog and Magog and you have Iran coming here very likely this is really Gog and Magog so having all this in one place fits so much with the situation today with the threats of oh, for Israelis are very very busy in other things elections so on but they forget that there is still thousands of missiles against them but the most important I think in this table is the location and the location is the following Lot Halel את שם אלוקיך, don't desecrate in the name of God, it means desecrate in the name of God, it means desecrate in the name of Shabbos, this kind of the family life, exactly what is happening in Israel now, you know, Lieberman, Lapid, Meretz, all those, they exactly are doing it, desecrate in Shabbos, but then the connection is, את זכר לא תשכב, don't lie down with a male, like with a woman, Mishkave Isha. This is a vulnerable, so on, a connection. There's lots of troubles coming as a result. But amazing, this is exactly what in Israel. We see all this fight parade, all these things about the most severe sin. And this was the Torah exactly tells you in this place that homosexualism, desecrating Shabbat, desecrating the holiness of family life, bring you Amalekite, bring you Nasrallah, bring you missiles. So the only solution is, what? To do tshuva, to repent. This is amazing, because this is exactly the situation today. It's an interesting and significant table. You have it also, by the way, mystically, you have the name of the heavenly angel, which is connected with last, with the Arabs, it's called Lilith. This is Lamed, but you have Lilith here, Lilith, yeah. Because you have to know that all what is going on down is connected with Hap, you know, there are evil angels there, some other and others. And by doing sin, especially last, Omar Sazalim, we give a lot of power to this one, and this is exactly the terrorist, right? This is the result of these kind of sins. So interesting and significant table for our time.